Hello, everybody. We are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and this is actually going to be part one of two parts to our recap of the weekly highlights for uh, Species of the Week number four, I believe. I'm not sure if this was number three or number four. Uh, actually, now that I think of it more, I think it was number three. Uh, but anyway, we had so many cool kills over the last week that it's actually going to take two videos in order to show off all of them. So we're going to show off the first half in this video but before that I wanted to try something that could be pretty fun in a last-ditch effort to try and get some more mule deer trophies and whatever else we can find really for this week I decided to come out here to Silver Ridge Peaks and we're gonna use a loadout that I don't think we've ever used before this is going to be the lever actions and longbow loadout so we basically have the 30-30, we've got the 45-70, and we also have the longbow. And I think this should make for some pretty interesting hunting. And that is actually a lot of mountain lions. But anyway, we're over here at one of my favorite mountain lion lakes because this server is at mountain lion time. And I think a mountain lion is going to be the perfect thing to smoke with the 45-70 to start things out. So let's go ahead and get lined up on this little mythical right here and take it down. And it looks like there's a lot more drop than I was expecting, but we did get into a lung on that second shot, thankfully. And there we go. Now, at this distance, I wonder where we will need to aim. I definitely need to try that out because we'll probably be trying to take some longer shots eventually, and I'd like to be able to make them when we do, so... Let's practice on this little female right here. Well, I guess we're not going to get any better angles, so let's just try that. And we definitely hit. I don't think it was vitals, though, which is kind of to be expected at that angle, but it might get it to where it'll actually go into an angle that we need. And there we go. So it goes high. Alright, perfect. So we just need to aim slightly above the back at that distance and once we go claim it we'll figure out what that distance was so this is the first one and we shot this at 166 meters on the first shot and 161 on the second uh, looks like we got vitals on both of those shots uh, this one I'm pretty surprised we actually managed to make it but I guess the 4570 has pretty good penetration so it's able to actually get in there even at weird angles like that and the second one ended up being taken at 187 meters. First shot was 199, which hit a bit far back. But we did manage to get the uh, drop compensation correct, so at least we've got that for future shots. So we used the 4570 on a mountain lion. I think it's time to use the 3030. Uh, this one is going to be kind of running, but we'll just zero to 100 and lead it a little bit, and we should be fine. I have no idea if that hit or even came close. Um, I'm guessing by the speed it's running, we definitely hit. And yeah, we did. It just takes forever for it to actually kill them with the 3030. Well, there's our mountain lion. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Hopefully this was a double lung and well, I mean, it was a liver, left lung and stomach. Honestly, that's a little bit better than a double lung, I think. That should kill it slightly quicker. And even with that, it ran for a very long time. Now, this probably would not be my first choice for a spot and stock, but since this is a pretty good pronghorn, I think it's only fair that we go ahead and try to stock up on it and take it with the longbow just to make things a little bit more interesting. And because this is the first good sized pronghorn I've seen so far on the server, and I'd like to take it out with the longbow instead of using the lever actions. Now, it may be a terrible idea, but the upper zeroing estimate for the longbow is 60 meters, so I think we'll attempt a 60 meter shot. It should be pretty dead on as long as we aim with the tip of the arrow like we're supposed to. I really uh, don't know how this is going to go, but we might as well attempt it since it's not diamond potential. Now, I probably should have tested this before I started this video, but I'm pretty sure you use either the top of the arrow or the tip of the arrow to aim. I think it's the tip. But honestly, I have no clue. However, we're going to have to wait for that thing to go broadside again because it is alerted now. Well, here goes nothing. And we got it. I don't know where we ended up hitting it. 
I don't think it was vital. See, <laughs> yeah, it definitely was not vital. So, well, the game just crashed. So I guess we're never going to see where we ended up hitting that thing. Um, yeah, it's unfortunate. Well, we've got a pretty decent mule deer right here. We're going to try and get into cover and call it in. And hopefully we can get it with the longbow. I think this is probably going to be a much easier shot to make than that pronghorn was if we can just call this guy in. So that one is somehow alarmed. Oh, I see why. We actually weren't in cover anymore. I don't actually know how that happened because I didn't move at all. Unless my dog moved me out of the way without me noticing. But that was almost bad. We almost spooked off everything. So both of these bucks are stopped at around 50 meters. I think we're going to have to take the shot. They don't seem to want to move at all. Uh, I don't know how we're going to make this shot perfect. I mean, we could try to move up a little bit and then take the shot. And in fact, that's what we're going to do. And I don't know where that even hit. Uh, let's try another shot. Yeah, that's definitely... Um, I think they're broken. Okay, well, I mean, this is a good way for us to test, I guess. Let's just see where we even need to aim. Definitely not there. Alright, so it is the tip of the arrow we need to use. Good to know. Uh, hopefully that'll prevent us from screwing up the next shot that we get. But of course, typical multiplayer stuff happening to us and everything decided to freeze. Uh, but we did get a bit of a look at where we need to aim. So I think we should be comfortable for the next shot. But I'm going to move to a different lake because all of these animals are not cooperating properly. Oh my gosh. Well, there we go. That is a level 5 mule deer. Unfortunately, it is the ugly rack. So yeah, we're going to... Probably take this thing with the longbow since it is the ugly rack and we don't really have too much to lose because of that. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of cool. We at least found ourselves a level 5 and this one is a guaranteed diamond. However, the wind is absolutely terrible. This is going to be kind of difficult to get close enough to actually take this guy out. Because since we're using the longbow, we're going to need to get at least 40 meters away. And the wind is blowing directly at them. So we're going to have to move around the left side of this little lake. And hopefully we can call them in. If they don't want to come to the call, then we're just going to have to spot and stalk, which is going to be pretty rough. So I think this bush right here is probably going to be the spot that we will go to to call this guy in. Uh, maybe the bush up here instead, actually. But uh, we'll go to one of these bushes and then call this guy in. The wind shouldn't be an issue now because we've moved to where it's kind of blowing to our left. So I think we should be good. And hopefully everything is going to go well from here on. Honestly, I guess if there's any mule deer to be trying a longbow shot on it's gonna be this one because this is the one rack that I don't really care if we end up messing it up because it is quite an ugly rack and I can't wait till they finally fix it it's probably one of the ugliest looking mule deer racks you could possibly imagine it was actually supposed to be fixed with the release of a rancho but after they put the fix through they discovered there was actually two broken mule deer racks instead of one so one of them ended up getting fixed and the other one is still here and that's the one that we've got in front of us but we are now in a really good spot so we can go ahead and start calling and it looks like they're all just running straight in immediately so this actually might go pretty well look at that disgustingly large mule deer I wonder how high this one's going to score. My personal best is like 341, I believe, or like 340.5 or something around that number. Let's see if we can break 342 with this guy. I'm not actually sure how he's going attentive. I don't think there's any reason that he should be unless there's a mountain lion near, which I guess is possible. But I don't think we did that. Oh, there's a buck right on top of us. Did not expect that. I would shoot you if there wasn't a level 5 over here. You know, unfortunately, this guy right here is just kind of getting stuck. I think the water might be preventing him from making his way over here, unfortunately. So we might have to stalk a little bit closer and get into a different bush. But he keeps going attentive, so I don't know how that's going to go. Yeah, this guy is leaving now. Um, I think it's because his zone just ended. And he doesn't want to come back to the call, I don't think. So we might... Just have to take him 
with the 30-30. I guess we'll see if he turns around at all. He's not going to, so we're just going to have to take it with the 30-30, unfortunately. Man, I really wanted to take it out with the longbow, but that's just not going to be possible, sadly. So we'll get it down with the 30-30. It's still going to be kind of a cool way to take it, I guess, but man, that's disappointing. Oh, we might as well take out this turkey while we can as well. There we go. Because that does have a chance at diamond. Unfortunately, it didn't have the right arrows in, so I wasn't going to use that. But there is our diamond mule deer. Let's uh, see what this guy ends up scoring. And this guy is a 340.40. And oh my gosh. <laughs> We're so lucky to even have him. Wow. And the crazy thing about this is I don't think that's even where I aimed. Um, I guess in the recording I'll, or in the editing process of this, I'll do like a little zoomed in slow motion of wherever we ended up firing because I'm almost certain we were further up, but it's hard to say. At least we ended up getting the liver. That's honestly the only thing that saved this. Not that it really matters too much because these are some of the ugliest mule deer in the game. But it's cool that we were able to take it out with the 30-30. It's not every day that we get to take a diamond with one of the lever actions, so that is a pretty cool thing to be able to do. And now for this little turkey, let's see if this ends up being a diamond. The 9 to 11 weight level 2s make it quite often, so hopefully. Unfortunately, it's just a 4.40, but we did long shot it, so that's kind of cool. But anyway, I think now that we have actually taken out something with every single weapon, unfortunately we couldn't get as close to the animals with a bow as I would have liked to. We only managed to take out one and it was bugged, but I mean, it is what it is. If you guys want me to do a longbow only video, leave it down in the comments below and maybe we'll take the longbow out onto a different map like Rancho Del Arroyo. I saw a lot of people wanting to see that at one point, so if you guys want to see a longbow only Rancho Del Arroyo video, let me know down in the comments. But until then, let's go ahead and jump into some highlights from this week of hunting mule deer on Silver Ridge Peaks, Rancho, and Parquet Fernando. We've got a pretty awesome selection of clips and a lot of really cool trophies. Now, I'm not going to be able to fit them all into this video, so there will be part two tomorrow along with our spin for the next week. So if you guys have enjoyed this, be sure to stay tuned for part two. But yeah, without further ado, let's jump into part one of these highlights. Oh my gosh, I've never seen a level 1 male before. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, <laughs> and a level 3 turkey. Alright, well, this just got insane. There we go, got it on the second shot. Um, we gotta try and get that goat now. There it is. Did it put its head down? It did. Wow. I think that one got it. It's losing health now. That first shot hit it in the nose, I think, because it put its head down to run. So there's our little turkey. Let's uh, go ahead and grab him and see how big it is. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Took it forever to uh, actually pick up. 4.60 though, so it's a small one. Still a diamond though. And that is pretty awesome. We got it from 270 meters as well. Uh, apparently we didn't even hit the turkey itself and it somehow died. Seems about right. Let's go uh, grab that goat now. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so small, the horns barely fit in the like dimples in the head where they're supposed to go. Oh. Uh, that was a turkey. I guess we'll check that dude out later. 51. We uh, messed it up too. So close to being good. And I guess that just went high. Wow. It didn't have enough pen to get through there. That's crazy. That is hilariously tiny though. Well, that's a rare turkey. Um, I can't tell which one that is from here, but that's a rare turkey. Oh, it's light brown. Yeah, it's definitely a light brown. That's cool, though. It's been a bit since we've seen a light brown. All right, let's go ahead and pick this little one up. 
that's pretty cool to see, even though uh, it is the easiest to find light brown. Or not light brown, it's the easiest to find rare turkey. They've become a lot more rare over like the last year than they were on release, I've noticed. You don't see these as much as you used to. So therefore, it is pretty cool to get them. And we can always use more turkeys for multi-mounts, so good to get them. Hello there. 320 away? That's a level 9. We gotta get that thing to stop. Back here. Just gotta get it to turn. Not gonna take a front on shot. Should be good. Ooh, we might have hit too far back. Just need to calm down. I think we had too far back. Gosh, he is just zipping around. I don't think it'll make it. Ah, it would have made it. Oh, that hurts. Oh, I, wow, that went way far back. That actually surprises me. I'm very surprised it hit that far back. Rip. Oh, well. It happens. It happens. So, unfortunately, nothing in this video is going to make it into the main lodge. But we do have a few new secondary lodge additions because of that. We've got our... Very funky looking broken mule deer right here that hopefully they'll fix soon. Uh, but it was still cool to take it out with the 30-30. It was definitely an enjoyable experience. And then as always, we are putting the turkeys in these backup lodges too because there are so many different turkeys that we've killed over the past couple years. And uh, it's been hard to top any of the ones that we have in our current uh, multi-mount for our main trophy lodge. So... Pretty much every turkey we get just goes into one of these backup lodges, unfortunately. And this was our incredibly small mountain goat. This is the only time I've ever seen a level one for the male mountain goats. So we had to take it down. It's just one of those one of those trophies you don't see that often. Even though it's not anything like crazy large or anything like that, it is quite a rare thing to see. So we had to tax it and had to get into one of these lodges. But I hope you all enjoyed this part one of the weekly species highlights for the Mule Deer Week. Uh, we're going to be having part two tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. It's been a lot of fun hunting the Mule Deer, and I hope we get more species on Silver Ridge Peaks or Rancho in the near future. But yeah, tomorrow we will roll for a brand new species along with showing off part two of all these highlights. And there's going to be a lot more Mule Deer trophies in tomorrow's episode, so stay tuned for that. But with all that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss a video. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below as to what you guys would like to see when it comes to a longbow video. Because like I was saying earlier, I want to do one. So let me know if you guys want to see that, and I'll try to make it as awesome as possible. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!